And I feel like any time that I feel like I'm called out personally, uh, <laughs> it kind of, yeah, kind of gets me going, whether it's a coach or another player or someone in the crowd or whatever it might be. Anytime I feel like anyone's like questioning uh, my ability, I guess, I'm like, okay, no, I can do all of this. Oh, you know that to change. You know, I think the, the, the bigger the moment, the more I tend to want to be the guy. Bounce at Crandall, he'll go in, jam it with two hands. So I think I'm a player that definitely lives for moments, if that makes sense. This team is, is one of the, the better teams I've played on in my career at any level and, and one of the teams that I've had the most fun on. Honestly, I think there's only one contender for MVP if it's not me. Well, the Riders fans are already chanting his name. There is very little doubt as to who the most valuable player of this game is. I've been watching this game since the 80s in this country, yeah. and I haven't seen handles like yours for a long time. Everybody has like a headset in, give me a rum and coke in the locker room. Why do I play basketball? Crandall. for the former North Dakota star. Zags up by six. The love of the game is a, a huge part of it. I mean, I, I, I can't imagine not having basketball. You know, I love when people ask me about basketball, if Rob or Pablo ever text me some, some film or something. Like, I just, I just love everything about the game. Um, so that's a big reason why I play. And then also kind of to pay respects to, um, to the people that have gone out of their, their way to get me to where I am. I think it's a big thing that keeps, that continues to push me to, to play basketball. My dad coached when I was really young. And, um, you know, I think my grandfather bought me my first, like, little indoor, like, plastic basketball hoop. You know, my parents both sacrificed a lot when, we were, when I was younger to, so that I would be able to play the game. Um, you know, I had coaches that, gave me rides, that gave me extra time, you know, outside of practice, or they were just a good coach when I was on the court that, you know, believed in me and gave me opportunities. So I think that, um, you know, a, a big part of it is the love of the game, and then the other part is, you know, paying it back to the people that pushed me to be here and, you know, that might not have the chance themselves to be here. Coming back, one part of playing in the BBL that's been nice is getting to see uh, the fan bases um, around the country. You know, we didn't really get a chance to, to do that last year with COVID and with the closed gyms and closed venues. So I think it's been really nice to um, to just experience that. You know, I think for me personally, even having, you know, road fans want to come and take pictures and, and just talk and, and, you know, tell me how much I've, it meant to, to them watching me last year and watching me this year. I think it's, it's, it's definitely added something to the experience of playing over here that was missing last season. You know, anytime you have a team, not just win the league, but in the fashion we have, you know, being as dominant as we have, someone on that team is, is probably the best player in the league. If it's not me, I think it has to be Pat. you win that much more than everybody else, I think that that gives you a leg up on anybody in, in the, the argument for most valuable player. And you look at a guy like Patrick, and um, you know he's our leading scorer. Um, you know, oftentimes he's, he's willing to guard anybody. Always feels like he just comes in and he hits his marks every night. Um, he's just incredibly consistent and we can rely on him so much to do so much. And he's not a guy that needs the ball in his hand for 30 minutes. Um, he just comes out and he makes the game easier for everybody else around him. The personalities of the guys on the team and the way we go about handling our business has been, um, you know, it, it makes coming into work every day really easy. And so I've enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, I think it was cool to win MVP last year. Um, again, you know, like I think it was just kind of a val validation of, uh, you know,
you know, just the hard work that I put in and, and you know, kind of the pride I take in the way I go about playing basketball. You know, I think every night I try to come in and, and you know, be business minded and just, you know, we have a game, I have to come in and, and do my job, do what the team needs for me, um, you know, be who I am or whatever. But I think there's definitely moments on the court where I kind of get going over the course of a season or over the course of a game when, when life presents those moments, I'm always kind of eager to, to seize those moments. Um, I wouldn't have been upset had I not got it. You know, I think there were other people that were also deserving. It's kind of nice to get that little bit of recognition for kind of a culmination of, of what I feel I bring to the table as a player.